Monique. I'm one of the student nurses with Meridian Community College. Can you state your name for me? Shaday Wilson. Okay, and could you tell me your date of birth? 10-23-85. Okay, how old are you, Shaday? I'm 34. Okay, can you tell me where you are? I'm at the hospital. Okay, and can you tell me the date? It's January 21st, 2020. And who's the president? Donald Trump. Okay. Um, any pain at this moment? Could you rate your pain from zero to ten? Zero being no pain, ten being your zero. Pain. Okay. Any allergies? Are you know? Mm -mm. Okay. My patient is alert to person, place, and time. No discomfort. Um, her speech is clear, and she's doing well and pleasant mood at this time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a physical assessment on you and that consists of me checking you from head to toe. A little touch, but I'll let you um, aware of that before I get to that point. Okay. Okay, can you tell me when the last time you had a bowel movement? Today. Today. Was it normal for you? Any discomfort, bleeding, mm -hmm. straining? It was regular. Okay. Um, what about um, urinating? When was the last time you urinated? 30 minutes ago. Okay. What color was it? Yellow. Any burning, mm -mm. Um, any drainage in, in your area, any foul odor? No. Okay, good. All right, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start my assessment on you. Okay. I'm going to turn off the lights. All right, just look straight ahead for me. Just follow it with your eyes only. Okay. Her pupils are equal, reactive, and round to light and accommodation. I'm going to check your ears. Any pain in your ears? Turn your mm head -hmm. towards me. Okay, good. No drainage in neither one of her ears. No sores noted as visible. Any um, soreness in your mouth? Open wide. Lift your tongue. Okay. Or mucous membranes are pink, moist, and intact. No sores or lesions noted um, visibly. Okay, I'm going to check your upper strength. Let me check the skin. Her skin is warm, dry to touch, appropriate for um, ethnicity. Um, no edema noted, no skin tears. Um, hold your arms over like this. Checking her brachial pulses. Her brachial pulses are equal bilaterally, um, regular rhythm, regular rhythm and uh, strength rate. I'm sorry. Okay. Checking her radial pulses. Her radial pulses are equal bilaterally, equal, equal bilateral, regular rate and strength. Hold your arms across your chest for me. Don't let, excuse me. Don't let me pull. Okay. Hold your hands out like that. Good. Oh, yes. Her skin is prompt. Capillary refills are less than three seconds. Nail beds are pink and convex. Her upper body strength is equal and it's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your heart sounds first. Aortic. Harmonic. I'm going to pull this out just a little okay. bit. I'm going to lift up your brow. Just a tad. A tricuspid. A mitra, aortic pulmonic, um, her tricuspid, her mitral, um, heart sounds are present in S1 and <coughs> S2 is present as well. I'm um, taking a look at her stomach. Any pain in your abdomen area? Mm -hmm. Okay. Her abdomen is round, none distended, no bruises, no scratches or anything on it. And I'm going to listen to your bowel sounds.
me know if you feel any pressure while mm -hmm. I'm touching your stomach. Okay. Her bowel sounds are active in all four quadrants. Her stomach is non-firm to touch and, and no um, and non-tender. I want to listen to your lung sounds now. Just breathe in and out. Your bra again. Okay. All right, can you raise this arm? You can raise it, put it across your chest. Just raise up for me. I'm gonna listen to the back side. Okay. And the same thing, just breathe in normally. Her backside is um, clear of um, any wounds or scratches or anything like that. No dressings on the back. Okay, I'm going to assess your femoral, your femoral pulses. I'm going to have to go up a little in your shorts. I'm going to put some gloves on. And her long sounds are clear to auscultate anterior, posterior, and laterally, um, bilaterally. All right, let me just pull this. Oh, for more pulses are not palpable, um, so I'm going to check her popular teal pulses. Popliteal pulses are present on equal bilaterally, regular rate and strength. Lower extremity um, temperature is warm to touch. No lesions, no scratches noted. Um, no edema present. I'm going to check her capillary refills in her lower extremities. Capillary refills are less than three seconds. Nail bed is pink and convex. I'm going to check her dorsalis pedis pulses. And they are present and they are equal bilaterally, um, regular rate and strength. I'm checking her posterior tibialis. They are present equal bilaterally, regular rate and strength. Um, relax your legs. Press like you're pressing down on gas. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Press up. Good. Hold your legs up for me. Good. In discomfort when you're doing that? No. Okay, good. No cracks or anything in her heels or her toes or in between her toes. What I'm going to get you to do, I'm going to get you to 
turn over and just hold on to that rail. I'm going to check your back side. Get your bottom. Okay. Any discomfort in your bottom? Any like irritation or anything? No. Okay. Her backside is um, skin is intact, no wounds, no open areas, no skin tears or anything like that. When I press up against your calves, does it hurt? Any no. pain? No warmth. No redness to the back of her um, legs. I said no redness noted to the back of her legs. She stated no pain. And there's no warmth noted to the back of her legs. Okay, you can relax. Can you tell me the last time you went to see your physician, like for a pap smear? Last year. Last year. Okay, make sure you continue to follow up with your doctor yearly, because that is one, one diagnosis to um, detect cervical cancer. Um, how's your eating habits? Pretty good. Um, we we'll recommend at least you eat three meals a day: breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Only two snacks in between. Mixing it up with vegetables and fruits, and make sure you uh, maintain a good hydration of fluids. Um, try to stay away from sodas, um, things yeah. like that. Okay. Um, are you sexually active? No. Um, when the last time you had a, a you done a breast exam? It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, what you want to do with that breast exam after your cycle, um, wait like seven days, and then you want to palpate around both um, breasts. You're checking for lumps, and if you detect any type of lump that you're suspicious about, just make sure you inform your doctor about that. Okay. Okay? And um, um, when, was time, when was your last <coughs> menstruation cycle? This should be coming up within sure. a week or two. Okay. So last month. Okay. Any extreme pain with those cycles? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And it's regular for you coming on as it should? It's a pain in the butt. Oh, God. Yeah. I pain in the butt. Okay. Well, uh, are you in a comfortable position? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, this here will conclude my um, physical assessment. I'm going to make sure your bed is locked. Um, in the lowest position, um, your head of bed is elevated. This is your call light. Just just let me know if you need anything um, or, you know, I need an aid or something like that.